Well, thank you, Mr. President. Well, uh, I think my colleagues have pretty well illustrated some of the concerns of this bill, how extreme and radical it is. And, uh, but I'd just like to add a few comments. Number one, when I look at this bill and the uh, protections not accepted and totally stripped away in this bill, to me, it's a bill that doesn't uh, protect women's health or the unborn. It empowers men who want to sexually exploit women and kill the consequence of that exploitation, especially young women. That's what this bill does. It empowers them to exploit women, not to help women and the, and the unborn. I also would like to see a culture of life. The other thing, uh, you know, I talked earlier about the silent scream. It's a documentary made by Dr. Bernard Nathanson, an original member of NARAL, according to my information. I said he did about a thousand abortions himself. Well, I looked up and did some research. He oversaw in New York, in the city of New York, over 75,000 abortions members. 75,000. He personally did, from 1970 to 1979, over 5,000 abortions. Think about that. And he got paid very well for that. Now, the interesting thing about Dr. Bernard Nathanson, God rest his soul, he passed away in 2011, is that at one point in his life, he, his conscience struck him, and he realized what he was doing, both to women and the unborn. And he became pro-life. So those of you who decide to vote for this bill, there is hope for you that you can support a culture of life. Uh, there was for Bernard Nathanson. Hopefully your conscience will one day and eyes will have the scales removed and you'll see what's actually being done. Secondly, members, there's another concern and that this bill really, from my perspective, and I couldn't get answers to some of my questions, is a planned parent a pro-planned parent abortion mill uh, bill. That's who's the largest provider of abortions in the state of Minnesota and across this nation. And members, when we look at the founding of Planned Parenthood, who do we see? Margaret Sanger. Who was Margaret Sanger? Well, she considered Negroes weeds that needed to be eliminated. She was a white supremacist and a racist that founded Planned Parenthood. Then if we look today, is Planned Parenthood carrying on her agenda? Well, in New York, they abort more black babies than are born, according to published news reports. Also, blacks are about 15 to 16 percent of our nation's population, but they're close to 40 percent of our nation's abortions. That's racism, ladies and gentlemen. That's white supremacy, and that's what you're voting for with this bill, is to, is to empower that organization and enrich it. Members, please come to your senses. We can develop a cu culture of life. Let us vote no on this bill, and don't support white supremacy and racist organization, which is what you're doing. In addition to that, members, there's uh, one last thing I'd say. You know, I talked about two of my daughters losing my grandchildren. And, you know, there is a creator, and I do believe I will see them again. So we're not animals. We didn't evolve from animals. There's no de genetic information that shows we did. We were created. And that's what our founding fathers believed. That's why they gave us the inalienable rights. You're created in the image of God, and God is not pleased with the killing of the innocent. Please vote no. Thank you, Mr. President.